Hello, folks. Welcome back to Buck Rogers. This should be the last episode. So, um, last week we couldn't find the exit and got blowed up. So that's uh, two weeks in a row we got blowed up. Uh, we have reinitialized the self-destruct system. We are on the pod level. I just figured you didn't need to see all that again. So we are hopefully the pod level is where we'll be able to escape. Yes, as you can see, it's the countdown is going. Yes. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to... Goodworth, controls are blocked, but I can get you clearance in a few seconds. Well, you better hurry. Find an available pod. All right. to me game. Ah, thank God. Maneuver away as far as possible. Oh, thank goodness. Wathoom! Well, of course it's a silent ball of flame. It's space. It's remained spiral away into space, reduced to space junk. Space, space, space. The top few levels of the Mariposa also explode, but the rest of it appears unharmed. We don't do things small, I guess. Your escape pod is quickly picked up by Wilma, who piloted your ship for the rescue. Scott takes over the controls as you begin the journey back to salvation. Wilma embraces you all. You've succeeded in the most important mission in Neo's history. Yeah, well, where's Buck? What was he doing during all of this? And Crippled Ram. They've lost their allies as well as their doomsday device. No one will be fooled into trusting them again. You are all heroes to Neo, and I hope that you'll stay with us for a long time. Your mission is over. Considering uh, we did all that after just graduating, uh, backpats all around. As you enter the airlock, you are greeted by a large mob led by the base commander. He hushes the cheering crowd and speaks. Hey, yeah, remember him? Welcome back. You have saved Earth from the evil scourge of Holzer Hein and his Ram Confederates. See, now, I'm wondering if that is an actual Buck Rogers thing or if that was just made up for the game. So let me lean over on my other computer here and uh, Holzer Hein, well, he's on Twitter. It, uh, woodworking, GitHub, Holzer Hein dot DOS. CRPG Addict. Uh, countdown to Doomsday Log Entries. In addition to RAM and its EV evil CEO... A Simmond Holzer Hein dot DOS computer on. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, looks like it's uh, actual thing. Okay, I'm not super familiar with Buck Rogers. Sorry. Oh, hey, there he is, carrying a gun with no trigger discipline. Come on, Buck. I uh, just wanted to shake your hands and thank you for saving the Earth and her people. With people like you, Ram doesn't have a chance. A cheer, celebration party. Uh, buy a drink. Crew members congratulate you. Uh, talk. Uh, is this the end? Exit. Yep, I guess this is the end. Yep. That was a... Oh, we're out of gas. <laughs> Uh, the heroes of Earth ran out of gas. Base under repair. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that's kind of an unceremonious ending to the game. I mean, come on, guys. That said, um, 
Let me see here. Pull out Countdown to Doomsday. Uh, shrink you down, close you down. Do, do, do. Save game I. Begin adventure. Let's pull this up. Uh, only because I want the map. So, here we are. This is in the weapons area. I figured we'd look around a little bit. A viewing chamber for the Doomsday device. Through a shielded dome, you see the device itself. The current system status. And then... Weapons control. Yeah, yeah. The weapons control. Uh, I don't want to do this. I did not come here to do this fight. So we're going to cheat. Because we're just... We are just looking around. I am not looking to actually initialize the self-destruct. Although, I may be stuck doing that. But, I mean, there's no sense to grind out a fight with the robot since we've already beaten the game and we're just here to see what else is here. stuck doing that. Well, okay. So we'll do this. Yeah, I get to do this fight again. I've done this fight a few times now. Luckily, this fight is uh, nothing much. I mean, I'm wasting needle gun ammo, but that's okay. the other guy that's got to intimidate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's not much in here. But let's go see what they're uh, doing. So it's happening in here. Well. Darn toot in danger. All right. Well, that's enough of that. So there you go, folks. <sighs> we did it. We finally did it. It was a real bumpy road. And it reminds me of how difficult and frustrating these games could be if you didn't have the hint book. Um, it feels like they were really kind of designed to be done with the hint book because uh, there's a lot of stuff here that's time-dependent. I mean, we had we had the, the timer to get to the Desert Runner outpost before it was wiped out. We had the timer to get up here to disable the gun before Deerling 
crashes the sh our ship into it to destroy it and us. And then we had the timer to get away before it blew up. There, I mean, so there's three real-world timers in this one game. Um, it's... Uh, they're a lot more difficult. If I had... I mean... Uh, Savage Frontier was a little different because the hint books were not the most accurate. But, I mean, you s those went a lot more smoothly. We were able to bypass a lot of garbage and, you know, we need to go here, so let's go here. Boom, 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 done. Um, those all ran much more smoothly because we had the hint books for them. Uh, doing it without the hint book is a lot more difficult, a lot more trial and error. Uh, that said, uh, I do still enjoy this game. I, I think it's an interesting take on the old gold box engine. And, I mean, that's the, the really kind of the neat thing, is that they did this... Uh, they, they did this base-buckling, you know, laser gun game and the gold box engine. The gold box engine could do distance attacks. You know, you had bows and spells. But it was really geared around melee. So... I, I think they did a pretty neat job. The balancing was... Well, let's be honest. The balancing is kind of whack in this game. Um, but that aside... Uh, I, I mean, aside from the somewhat atrocious balancing... Um, I think it's a pretty fun game, and it was certainly different, if nothing else. So, I, I, I think it's pretty good. It's not the greatest. Um, honestly, Curse of the Azerbon still has a special place in my heart, because it was the first gold box game that I played. I know a lot of people prefer Pool of Radiance, but I think that's... Pool of Radiance is like the demo tape for the band. You, you can see what's there, but it's really rough, you know? I mean, the yeah, there's grognards out there that say The Witcher 1 is their favorite Witcher game, but uh, let's be honest, Witcher 1 is janky as hell and really rough. Uh, I didn't even finish it. I've played 2 and 3. I've beaten 2 and 3. 1, I couldn't get very far, and it was, it was too rough. And he looked like a potato. Um, so I think um, I, I think that uh, Pool of Radiance was a little too rough around the edges. I I vastly prefer. Uh, uh, not Secret of the Silver Blades. I did enjoy Secret of the Silver Blades. That was kind of fun being able to have that kind of a power level. But my favorite is still Curse. Um, I've played that the most. I go back to it the most. I, I like it. I, I like almost all of these. Um, Champions of Kryn wasn't bad. Death Knights of Kryn was... A little rough, but not too bad. Uh, Dark Queen of Kryn is a giant pile of suck. And was not fun at all. Uh, so, you know, kind of like Pool of Darkness was a giant pile of suck. Um, and I like the, uh, the uh, Savage Frontier games. And I've just been rambling, and now we're at almost 15 minutes. Whatever. So, there you go, folks. We are done with Countdown to Doomsday. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Matrix Cubed or not. I don't. I would have to try and find it. Um, and I only vaguely remember it. Uh, I know that you go out to the asteroid belt, and... A moon of Jupiter, I think. I'm not sure. I might see if I can find it. But either way, that's not going to be next. Um, we are going to... 
I may actually just completely take a week off. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're, I'm probably going to do a few fillers. You know, download something random from Steam and play it for half an hour and talk about it. Um, uh, before we move on to the next project, I don't, and like I said, I don't think the next one's going to be Matrix Cubed. I think I need a break from Goldbox games. So we might do something else. Uh, or I might just say to hell with it and do Wasteland again. But either way, until next time, folks, have a good one.